Yeah, you know, we have some wild new video just into the newsroom. Yeah, it was taken at the Portland Rowing Club in Southeast Portland. Take a look. Boat ramps are in the water. Any minute now, I'm gonna get another sinker. Wow, John Kinsman sent this to us. You see all that snow and ice? Those are awnings over the boats. And around 3.30 this morning, it just became too much and they started to collapse. The houses are getting tipsy. There it goes. Jesus Christ. Okay, my heart just stopped my watching this. John Kinsman, uh, who took this video, actually joins us by phone now. John, good morning. John, are you there? I am. Wow. What time did you take hey, this can video? You hear me? Yes, yeah, we, we can. Can you. can you hear us? I can, yeah. What time did this happen? Um, so I actually live with my dad. Just You can see the house just over to the left of this video. Uh -huh. um, he woke me up just about 3 a.m., um, and I woke up and the house was slanted almost in the water um, oh on the edge. So we got up, you know, started packing up in a hotel now. Um, and just as I was walking up the bridge um, to get out of there, I see all these, all these things starting to tip. And then, you know, what do you know? They start uh, cracking and then kind of falling in. And underneath those is just dozens of boats. Um, so they're all, I'm assuming, just in the water, just sunk right now. Yeah, that um, was going to be my question, stuff. John. I was, I was going to say, so for people who don't know what they're looking at, all of those things that are slanted that we're looking at in the video right now, there are boats under all of that space that are now, who knows right. what kind of condition they're in. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage right there. Um, you know, it's... Luckily... Go ahead. Just, uh, just, you know, last week we pulled our boat out of there, so we're in the clear. Wow. <laughs> This is remarkable because, you know, it's one thing to see one of these awnings in right. the water. But when you see several, how many awnings would you say are impacted by this? And also, John, we've seen some houses, as you just mentioned, listing a bit. How many houses are in danger right now? Did you get a chance to check that out? Yeah, I would say there's probably 15, 20 docks huh. right there. And um, we left about an hour ago, but by now I'm pretty sure they're all collapsed. Um, almost all of them are already collapsed in that video, but um, definitely our house when we left was one of the corners was starting to go in the water, so it was pretty scary. Oh, um, my gosh. You know, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the floating homes are pretty safe. They're chained down to a pylon, um, so not a big chance of those sinking, but definitely scary stuff. John, can you tell us, do you know, uh, just something we want to ask, do, do people live on any of these boats? I mean, are these boats that are just sort of stored there, or do you know if there are any people who make their homes in those boats? The boats no. under the covers uh, are not lived in, no. Those are all just uh, recreational boats. Thank goodness. Um, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, crazy I, stuff. I had another question for you. So when your house was listing the way it was, is that what woke you? I mean, did you feel like you were going to roll out of bed? Was it was it tilting that much? Because when we're looking at the one house that we can see in that shot that's tilting, it looks like that would feel pretty dramatic to be inside. Yeah, you know, my dad was actually just getting up to go to the bathroom and uh, stuff started sliding down. He has a work chair that's on wheels and it started sliding down across the house. Um, so he just woke me up immediately and was like, we got to go. This is just incredible to see. Was there anybody else out there, or was it pretty much just you taking this video? Was anyone else awakened by all of this? Oh, yeah. I mean, this stuff was really loud. You, you know, there's no way you could stay asleep with how loud that crash was. Um, and there's somebody that uh, kind of manages the stuff and overlooks it. Um, he was on a roof yesterday, actually, um, with his mountain climbing shoes, clawing all the snow off because it was just about as tilted yesterday oh. um and then overnight all the freezing rain just built back up and put it back down do you have an idea of how much snow and i know we've been talking about ice and that's a big factor here i'm sure but how much actual like how thick is it on top of those awnings that's a good two to four inches of snow and then probably uh inch and a half to two inches of 
just solid ice. Wow. This is just remarkable. Do you know, um, just off the top of your head or while you were out there, any injuries, anybody that you were aware of that may have been, you know, sort of thrown into the water or anything like that? Or did you see anything of that nature? No, yeah. I mean, everyone's safe. No injuries, Good. nothing like that. Um, luckily, you know, this happened really early in the morning. So um, no one was in the way of any of that stuff. No one was under the docks. Everyone was pretty much in their houses when it happened. And, John, these are all metal awnings. What's the material that that these are made from? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much sheet metal and wood. Um, all of the awnings you see were built uh, pretty much from 1989 back. So, um, you know, they're, they're made out of pretty much just sheet metal and wood. I mean, so not terribly old. No. I mean... Wow, probably nothing you would have ever imagined. You know, when we've had storms in the past, how long have you and your dad lived there? Ha have there been situations where you've, you've felt this sort of fear before based on storms we've had in the past? No, we've never seen anything like this. Um, we've lived in two different houseboats previously. We lived um, in the other moorage, basically just on the northbound side of Selwood Bridge, and this one is on the southbound side. Um, We've lived here probably about a year, so never seen anything like this. It's really incredible. John, we're just so glad you and your dad are okay and that it, to this point we know that, that no one's been hurt by this. It's really just so terrible to see it this It is terrible scene. to see. We thank you so much. We know it's early and you had a really late night if you've gotten any sleep since this happened. Uh, we appreciate yeah, you taking appreciate the time to, to talk to us and explain what's happened. And, boy, we sure wish you the best. Did... You said you just moved your boat. So, I mean, there's a little light at the end of the tunnel for you and your dad, I suppose, that but your boy, boat was not trapped under really there. really feel for all of the people uh, who have, have lost their, their yeah. boats under this. Uh, we're, we're glad you're okay, John, you and your dad. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Of course. Appreciate it. All right. You take care.